while the MCU has conquered all before it on the big screen, Marvel's not been quite so successful on TV. For every brilliant season of Jessica Jones or Daredevil, there's been a disappointment of an Inhumans or an Iron Fist, and no one wants that. All that looks set to change with a spectacular slate of new Marvel TV shows. While the Marvel television division has been responsible for new Marvel TV shows up to now, Marvel Studios, the team responsible for the MCU on the big screen, is getting in on the act with a succession of high-profile spin-offs featuring characters from the movies. Up to now, there's been a little bit of small screen crossover with the MCU before, including Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Agent Carter, and the Netflix Defenders shows all referenced events in the movies, but never on this scale with such big name stars attached. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down every new Marvel TV show coming to Disney Plus in the near future. If you enjoy and find this video informative, make sure to click that like button and comment down below which TV series spin-off you would like to see on Disney Plus that hasn't already been confirmed. I would love to see a Thor and Rocket spin-off TV series even though that's not very likely to happen. Of course, the events of Avengers Endgame are so important to the future Marvel TV series so it'll be interesting to see which ones are based after Endgame and which ones are based before Endgame. Now let's get into all of the upcoming Disney Plus MCU TV series. Falcon and the Winter Soldier Marvel and Disney are taking their new MCU spin-offs on Disney Plus very seriously indeed. And just to prove it, Kevin Feige actually told Variety that these episodes will intersect with the movies in a very big way. It's a totally a new form of storytelling that we get to play with and explore. Having also confirmed at the Disney Plus launch that there will be ramifications for other TV shows and movies and that post Endgame the MCU will be very different. However, Falcon and the Winter Soldier will unite Captain America's best friends with Falcon played by Anthony Mackie and Winter Soldier played by Sebastian Stan. With Steve Rogers having departed to get old with Peggy Carter at the end of Avengers Endgame, he left his shield with Sam Wilson, otherwise known as the Falcon. So we're guessing this will focus on Wilson's struggle to follow in his predecessor's footsteps and if the show echoes the same kind of movie tone that Captain America the Winter Soldier had, critics probably won't have any complaints about the show. The second Disney Plus TV series that will be coming out within the very near future is WandaVision. This will actually be focusing on Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch and Paul Bettany's Vision the Disney Plus series will probably revisit a romance that was ruined by Thanos when of course he had to get the Mind Stone from Vision's forehead. Feige has described the series as something unexpected and surprising as well as something we can only do in a long form series. Marvel's currency is now so high that it's earned the right to experiment so this is definitely one to look out for when Disney Plus launches. As for another character that died in Avengers Infinity War, I mean he possibly died, he could still be running around in multiple timelines as that's possible in the MCU but at the same time I'm pretty sure that the Loki TV series will probably show Tom Hiddleston Loki basically adventuring through time and space since an earlier incarceration of Loki did find a tesseract shaped escape route during Captain America, Iron Man and Ant-Man's trip back to the timeline of the first Avengers movie. So I'm pretty hyped for the Loki TV series, I have been wanting to see a lot more of Loki for a while now, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the more successful TV series when Disney Plus launches that's going to have really really high views and I'm just really a fan of Tom Hiddleston anyway so yeah I can't wait for this one. Just to clarify guys it actually could be either one. It could be him venturing through time and space after he escaped in Endgame or it could be them taking a bit of a look at his unexplored past because Loki does have a big past that still hasn't been brought to screen. I think it's worth noting that there is also a Hawkeye series that has been heavily rumored but it hasn't actually been confirmed to release on Disney Plus at this point. I'd still like to see a Hawkeye slash Ronin TV series and I'm sure that it is very possible that it could release on Disney Plus further down the road 
as it might not release exactly on the release date of Disney Plus. So there you have it guys, those are all of the Disney Plus Marvel series that will be releasing on the day that Disney Plus does release. However, there are also a few other Marvel TV series that will be coming to Hulu, the first one of which is Ghost Rider. Now, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. version of Ghost Rider will be appearing in this TV series, but we actually have no word yet on whether it's a spin-off of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series or an entirely new continuity. Marvel does say that he is the quintessential anti-hero who lives on the Texas slash Mexico border, consumed by hellfire and supernaturally bound to a demon. And the showrunner has also said that the story hits every note for me. My love for the grounded yet conflicted characters and my desire to scare the shit out of people. So we'll see how this TV series goes when it releases sometime in 2020. And the last but not least Marvel Hulu TV series is Hellstrom. The show is also due in 2020 and you may not be aware of who Hellstrom is unless you have been paying attention to the comic books. The show will focus on Damon and Anna Hellstrom, the children of a mysterious and powerful serial killer who has a lot of connections to Hell. Marvel's known for heart, humor, and action they put into every series, but this time around we're adding some scares into the mix, says showrunner Paul Zubisky. He adds, I think we found a compelling way to dissect some of our deepest fears through the experiences of our two lead characters. So yeah, this is due in 2020. Halloween is actually probably a fitting time for it to come out next year. So I am pretty hyped to see like the first Marvel horror TV series kind of thing. Like we've had some darker Marvel TV being Daredevil and Jessica Jones and I loved the third season of Daredevil and both seasons of Jessica Jones so they were all great but I'm sure that this will have much more of a horror element given the characters it is focused on and that it will be based on Hellstrom from the comics. So there you have it guys, those are all of the new Marvel TV series that will be coming out soon with Ghost Rider and Hellstrom being released through Hulu and Falcon and Winter Soldier, WandaVision and Loki all being released on Disney Plus when the platform does release. So I can't wait to stream all sorts of Marvel content on there and the show that I'm most excited for is the Loki TV series. Make sure to comment down below and tell me which of these shows you are most excited for because I do read most of my comments. As always, my name is Architect. Hope you guys are having an amazing day and peace out.